This is the first class that we've been introduced to in the book as far as object-oriented programming. I'm going to explain how this works, and then you're going to go through, and for practice, you're going to convert the coin class to a dice class, and we'll go through that together. So I have to have the random library imported to be able to do the what will be dice roll or the coin toss. I have a class coin. Notice that the class has a capital for the name. And then every class gets initialized. So we're defining the initialization with the variable here, which is side up, which is set to heads, to head. And we have a action that it's going to take. And the definition here, or the function here, is toss. And it's going to get a random integer, 0 or 1. And if it's 0, it's going to be heads. Otherwise, it's going to be tails. And then we have the option to get the side up, which will return that variable. Then we have the main method, which implements the coin class. And it implements it twice. We have an instance of the coin class named myCoin. And we have an instance of the coin class named myCoin2. These are both instances of the coin class. So the coin class is a pattern that we can use as many times as we wanted. We could do myCoin3, myCoin4. And when we run it, we're initializing, the before we roll the dice, they're initialized to heads. So when we first run the program, the first thing that's going to show is this side is up, comma, heads. The second one is this side is up, comma, heads, because for both instances, heads has been initialized as the side that's up. Then I put on the screen, I am tossing the coins. This calls the coin toss function for each instance of the coin. So we have my coin dot toss. That's calling this function, and it's doing a random integer. And it came back with heads. And then we do the second one, which came back with tails. So again, we're using the two instances of the coin that we created. So in the next steps, we're going to convert this to roll two dice, which will be a few name changes to make it a little bit more accurate and a few number changes, but it's pretty much the same thing. And you'll follow along with the to-dos in your homework.